Chautauqua is an Iroquois word describing the shape of the beautiful Chautauqua Lake, located in southwest New York. This area was the setting of the first educational assembly, the Chautauqua Institution, and thus the name of the movement. Its purpose was to introduce people to the great ideas, new ideas, and issues of public concern. It became nationally known as a center for rather earnest but high-minded activities that aimed at intellectual and moral self-improvement and civic involvement. During the era, the company sent troops of artists all over the United States during the summer, going from town to town, bringing cultural events to the smaller towns, music, literature, art, and many other things that added much to the lives of those attending. Speakers well-versed in literature and all the fine arts. The very first McKinney Chautauqua was held on July 3rd through 11th, 1908, and sponsored by the Nickel Dime Theater, a little theater on North Kentucky Street specializing in one or two real moving pictures. The first day was Friday, July 3rd, 1908, and George Cutter and Jesse Mack presented a musical comedy in which George Cutter was the comedian and Jesse Mack was the cartoonist. Well, next on the program July 4th was Miss Olaf Carrera, the little Esquimax lady, a lecturer and performer who presented herself as a native of Greenland, where she had existed on raw meat, blood, and oil from her native fauna. She reported that everyone on Greenland had shrunk to dwarfian proportions. Along with her husband, she gave her first lecture in 1884, regaling audiences of gawking Midwesterners with stories of life in the frozen north. She clothed herself in her native costume of a polar bear skin, and she sang native songs. Well, it was all a hoax in that she was born in a little town in Iceland but none of her far-fetched stories were true. That didn't seem to impact her career, though, and she continued to captivate audiences until her death in 1935. Well, on Tuesday, July 6, 1908, the fifth day, a humorous lecture was given by Dr. H.W. Sears. He was known as the Taffy Man and presented more taffy and less epitaphy. The Courier Gazette reported, it is said to be one of the funniest lectures being given by anyone. You cannot help but laugh. Senator Bob Taylor, three-time governor of the great state of Tennessee, came to McKinney. Senator Bob joined the Chautauqua traveling artist and was known far and wide for his humor and personal popularity. His gifts of eloquence and personal magnetism made him a personal Chautauqua platform favorite. He was a wonderful storyteller, and his lectures, such as the famous Fiddle and the Bow, were printed and reprinted and abounded in sentiment and beautiful thought and diction. Every July for many years, the Chautauqua entertainers arrived in McKinney to enlighten and bring joy and laughter to young and old alike. 